So I, I'm a horizontal minded guy to begin with. So anytime I can do horizontals and automation together, I think it's a win-win. So Jeez. this is a FMS system, a flexible manufacturing system. So this particular unit has 27 pallets on it. We have two horizontals tied together. So we have twin MB5000 Mark IIs. There's one on the back of this? Yeah, there's one oh, on the other okay. side of it, correct. So this system, you can see the elevator actually picking up a part. It'll take a part from the setup station and then load, load the, the pallet system. So, oh, so you can these store are all fixtures. Yeah, these are all different types of work pieces that can be called up at any given time, sent into the machine for production. So you can, one of the, the keys to this is speed, quick turnaround. So you could set up your work and then set up your FMS system. That's insane. You could literally have, if you wanted to, you could have all these different fixtures preloaded with the material ready mm -hmm. to go. And if I have a customer that has 10 different product lines, I can program it, do five of these, do one of these, do this, run that pallet, and yes. away you go. Yep, exactly. It's crazy. And these can be expanded, so depending on what your shop needs are. Um, this particular one we brought in just for our, our space and size limitations. We have three uh, levels of pallets, and like I say, we've got 27 in here. This could be 150 pallets if we wanted it to. You could have um, this be the could, whole wall if you're Absolutely. Wall. It's a fantastic system. Uh, we do a lot of these in the U.S. Um, so we've got um, systems, and a lot of these tend to go into your bigger shops, yes. right? Your, your companies that are doing larger aerospace work, things like that, people that are doing production work. Preparation, I think, is the key there, because yeah. you just slap one of these on and you go, ah, we'll see what happens. Right. I don't think it's gonna work out. Now, the other thing I wanna point out here is the size of those tombstones. From down here, they may look small. If you actually look in this machine running right now, those are not small at all. No. They're enormous. Right, yeah, these are 500 millimeter uh, pallet tombstones. And the thing I love about horizontals is you stack your work, right? Yes. So I could have one side, this particular fixture has an OP10 type operation on one, OP20 on the other side. So you're doing progressive fixturing and you can stack your work up. So a system like this, an FMS system, as you can see here, we've got multiple machines and we can keep stacking these machines down the road. We could have horizontals and five axis and, and different things plugged into the same system. We can oh. do central tool cabinets. So a common thought process is when you buy a horizontal or any kind of machine tool and you want to put automation on it, you want the biggest ATC you can get. Oh, this is the ATC over here. Yeah, so this is the tool changer. Woo, woo, woo. However, so this one, this is a, a 280 tool ATC magazine. 280. But there's ways, if you're doing a, a long FMS system, it's better to have a central tool storage that is feeding this. And instead of having hundreds of tools, go down to what does your part need? Can you get it with 64 tools? Yep. Then bring in a, a horizontal with a smaller tool changer and let the central tool storage feed that. And with a system like this, that will automatically replenish tools as long as they're set up in the tool holders yes. from that central location. Yeah, yep, it can, Absolutely. And if I'm picking up what you're putting down, when you're talking about tying in multiple machines, I could have a part start on a tombstone, but then it has a five axis component to it. Mm -hmm. I could have that tombstone through this system, transfer that to, you know, I don't necessarily know all the fixturing and stuff. Right. Theoretically, you could have a line of a fully automated shop with all the different capabilities all fed from one central location. Yes. So there's a lot of, it's, again, FMS, flexible manufacturing. There's a lot of things. You just got to think outside of the box a little bit and come up with creative ideas that's going to meet the customer's needs. It's so next level that it's, a, it's an entire different way of thinking about it.